Hola Pescaditos, uh, today we are out on the Yellow River. We're not doing anything in particular, um, just doing a quick float and fish. We we're trying to fish at like two other places and it just didn't work out. Uh, one was about to close in like an hour, other one you had to pay at or couldn't fish or something like that. So we're coming down here to the Yellow River. We're going to float on down to the dam in the middle of the, uh, uh, the city over here and see if we can't hook into something. If you're watching this, it means we probably did or at least something interesting happened. But uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's see if we can't catch something. <laughs> oh, oh, you all right? <laughs> what do you need me to do? Is your bag and stuff good? Yep. Okay, do you need me to hold on to anything? <laughs> <laughs> what do you need me to get? Hold on. You want me to hold yeah. this? Okay. <laughs> is that it? You got it? There's a lot of bugs out there. Boy, I tell you what, it is a good thing you got your phone in the case. Yeah, I know. A floating case. It Can you... float, oh, it doesn't float? Nope. Oh, well, it's a good thing that you got a hold of it. Can you get in? If you need to, walk back over by the I was so worried you'd like lost your rod and stuff too. It'd been hard. It would've been hard to find right here with all this mud. I know. Well, literally, I had uh, I didn't even think about anything else but my rod. I was like, I'm gonna hang on to that. Well, everything else floats for the most part. I mean, except for your phone. Well, folks, different day, same video. Peter took a little bit of a spill. He didn't catch anything after that. That's why we're already switching over to something else. Um, I am loading up my truck with my bed extender because I'm going over to my parents' house to pick up a canoe that uh, has been sitting around. Going up to my parents' house to pick up a canoe that's been sitting around that my dad's had for quite some time. So I'm going to take a hold of it because he hasn't used it since he got it. He paid 50 or 60 bucks for it, something like that. But since it's been sitting around, I'm gonna take it and clean it up and we're gonna get it out on the water. It just seems more like a fall or winter mode of being on the water, a canoe. I don't know, something about it, but we're gonna give it a shot. Well, if you look at the pressure wash side compared to the one that hasn't been, I think it looks a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this side and then uh, we'll call it there. We're going to do some things. We're going to throw a motor on here. Let me know below in the comments what else should go on this canoe. Do I need some, some rod holders to upgrade the seats? If you, that's even something you can do. I don't know, but we're going to find out. But uh, until next time, this is Caleb with Certified Dinks, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.